everyone and welcome. My name is Anna McDougall and today I want to talk about what I think is the best free, 100% free way to learn how to code as a web developer in 2021. And that is the Odin Project. Now, I am a huge proponent of the Odin Project and it might have a little something to do with the fact that it's how I got started last year. So to understand my story, uh, I used to be an opera singer and I knew last year that I needed to make a career change and I really wasn't sure which direction I was going to go in, but I did know that I love technology and I had done some coding as a kid and in high school and a little bit in my job in digital marketing and I thought, you know what? I've always kind of found that fun. Why don't I try that? Now, I'd done a little bit of free code camp. I tried that. I tried a few other little tutorials online, but they were always to make one thing. They didn't really teach me a body of knowledge. And what they certainly didn't teach me was independence, how to set up my computer, how to use an IDE, how to use Git. These were things that, for example, free code camp didn't teach me. Even if they were helping me learn the language, the syntax, I didn't, I wasn't forced to like create my own environment. I wasn't forced to deal with file formatting or live servers or prettier or linting or anything like that, right? Now, the reason that I think the Odin project is the best way to learn coding to an employable level is because it begins with technical setup. It gets you to set up your machine, set up your coding environment, it teaches you the basics of Git and GitHub, and it encourages you to use them throughout the course. It not only helps you learn syntax and the, the more, uh, I suppose, theoretical side of things such as JavaScript, it also helps you solidify everything you learn with projects. So I came out of the Odin project. I worked on it for two months, 60 days straight. I would work on it between three and six hours a day. This was during the first COVID lockdown and I worked my little tush off. But what I did was I was able to learn so much about JavaScript, HTML and CSS that now in my in person, well, not at the moment, but in my current web development course, which is one year long, I'm now six to seven months into it. And only now am I starting to reach things that I didn't learn from the Odin project. So, I mean, I am a fast learner, so maybe I'm not the best example in that regard, but I can vouch for the quality of what they teach. It has been absolutely up to par. Now, they give you learning materials, they link you to learning materials that are all available online. So it's much more guided, right? It's not all their own stuff. They're not selling you anything. But what they are doing is linking to blog posts, linking to videos, um, linking to articles that cover all of the theoretical things, while also guiding you in some of the basics themselves by volunteers who decide to write certain sections. On top of that, you can submit your assignments in order to have them on the page for others to see, which means you can also look at what previous students have submitted. Now, let me get to the absolute best part. I promise you they're not paying me anything to make this video. I am just a really huge fan. The best part is the Discord community. Now, if you haven't used Discord before, I know you might be nervous to download yet another chat program, right? You've got Slack, maybe you use Facebook already, maybe you use Twitter or Instagram and you're like, oh, another social program. It is worth it. This Discord channel is amazing. Not only are there people there at all different hours of the day, sitting on HTML help channel, sitting on JavaScript help channel, sitting on Git help channels, the moment you have either a technical or a script based problem, you can go to them, you send them a code pen link or a replet, or you just ask a question and people are there and they want to help. If you want feedback on a website, you can just post it there for them. I, you know, ideally a project that you're doing for the Odin project, um, you just post it there and get ask for feedback, ask for ways you could make it better, okay? So there are plenty of ways in which this becomes available to you and in which people are there to help you. Because the biggest roadblock that I have seen with newer coders is that they get to a point where there's a technical issue, right? Maybe it isn't even a problem with their code. Maybe it's a technical issue and they don't know how to solve it. They freak out and then they give up because they think oh, this is too hard. Why is this so hard? Or they get you know, a problem with a semicolon in JavaScript and they get stuck for days because they don't know who to ask. 
this is such a good way for people to learn if they're learning from home, if they're looking for a career change. The best thing of all uh, after all of that, right, is that if you make it to the end of the course, then there's also a section on writing your resume and applying for jobs. Now, if that isn't a great course for people who want to shift into web development as a career, I don't know what is. It is 100% free, run by volunteers. I, I just cannot recommend it enough. Get onto it. This is where you begin. You can do it. See you later.